Welcome back to my channel, Study Planet. Today we are going to continue with chapter Major Landforms of the Earth. And today we are going to continue with the mountains. Last time we had covered some part of mountains. And today we are going to continue from there. So there are some facts here. Let's read them. There are some mountains you cannot see as they are under the sea. Uh, this point I hope everyone knows and uh, I would like to add one more point here that uh, the, the mountain uh, height is measured from the sea level. Okay. Now, because of the harsh climate, less people live in the mountain areas. Since the slopes are steep, less land is available for farming. So, in the mountainous areas, you must be thinking that when uh, the people living there, uh, some of them, how would they f uh, do farming? So, they do farming. Um, it is a process known as step farming. So, from that process, they do the farming there. Um, now... Uh, let's see about the ranges. So the Himalayas, the Alps and the Andes are the mountain ranges of Asia. So they are the major mountain ranges of Asia, Europe and South America respectively. Okay, now uh, what is actually ranges? Ranges are actually... That they are in a line known as a range. Mountains in a line known as a range. So this is one of the picture of the ranges. So this is the Aravli range. Okay. And many mountain systems consist of a series of parallel ranges extending over hundreds of kilometers. This is a very common point. So here you can see one more mountain range is shown in this picture also. Okay. Now, let's move on to the kinds of mountains. There are fold mountains, block mountains and the volcanic mountains. First, we will study about the fold mountains. The Himalayan mountains in the Alps are young. Fold mountains with rugged relief and high conical peaks. Aravli ring in India is one of the oldest fold mountain systems in the world. The range has considerably worn down due to the processes of erosion. So, I hope you remember the process of erosion. The Appalachians in the North America and the Ural Mountains in Russia have rounded features and low elevation. There are very old fold mountains. So, as you saw in the last picture about the Iravli, they were like this. So, they have conical peaks. Okay, so they have conical peaks and uh, right, but their uh, their height is uh, day by day decreasing due to erosion. Okay, now our next topic is block mountains. So, what are block mountains? Block mountains have two uh, things: horse and graben. Uh, so. Block mountains are created when large areas are broken and displaced vertically. Okay, so they are displaced vertically and they have a block like this. Okay, uh, so the uplifted blocks, these ones are known as horse, and the uh, uh, lowered ones are known as grabens. So the Rhine Valley and the Vosges Mountain in Europe are some examples of mountain systems. Okay. Now these are some of the block mountains. So you can say this is a graving, this is a horse. Again, same with this. Grave uh, horse and graven, etc. Okay. Now let's come to volcanic mountains. Uh, volcanic mountains are you can say it's just easy so they are formed due to the volcanic activities uh, Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa and Mount Fujiyama in Japan 
are examples of such mountains. So, Fuji, there's a Mount Fuji in uh, Japan. So, that mountain uh, is the highest mountain in Japan. Okay. Now, uh, we know that again we have some facts that mountains are very useful uh, the mountains are a storehouse of water many rivers have their source in the glaciers in the mountains we studied about glaciers in the last video okay the reservoirs are made and the water is harnessed for the use of people water from the mountains is also used for radiation and generation of hydroelectricity the river valleys and terraces are ideal cultivation of crops mountains also have a rich variety of flora and fauna as you all know that uh, in hindi we say jadi booty uh, they are very much found in the mountains mountainous areas only uh, so, I'll explain you about the step farming which I was talking about. So, what is step farming? They just cut the mountains into steps like this. They grow plants in each level. Okay. Like this. And so that the water here, stays, some of it stays here and the other goes here. Then I'll get this. Like this they do. Okay. So, uh, please uh, comment. I'm asking a question in this video that uh, if we have this mountain, how does, uh, why don't we need, why can't we farm on this kind of mountain only except of, uh, you know, cutting the mountains into blocks or into steps okay why can't we use these kind of mountains for farming why do we do this step farming i have not mentioned this in the video but uh, this is a very general question and easy question so you all can answer thank you everyone for watching this video please like share and subscribe this video and comment in, in case of any doubt and uh, this was a question in the end please comment for the answer